Hello, my beautiful friends. Chia Miss here to show you how to easily make salmon wellington for yourself, your family, or just to display a little bit of your cooking skills to that someone special. And they're going to really think you went all out. If it sounds like something you might be interested in, kindly watch this video to the end. Thank you. Here, I have two salmon fillet I'm going to be using. I'm just making sure I pat dry all the excess water off. So here I'm going to combine about half a tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning, some paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and some dill. I will make sure to mix them in well. I will generously sprinkle them all over my salmon, including the back and the sides, and then I will carefully rub them in. I recommend using thick cuts of salmon fillets. The thicker the salmon fillets are, the taller and more impressive they will look when this pastry crust is all puffed out. I prefer using shallots for that delicate and sweet flavor, but by all means, use onion if you don't have shallots handy. On a heated pan, I'm going ahead to melt two tablespoons of butter, then I'll add in my chopped shallots and saute for a couple of minutes. I will generously add in 10 ounces of fresh spinach. I will patiently work that in until it's all cooked down, just like this. I will transfer to a bowl and give it some time to cool off a bit. Then I will go in with some cream cheese and parmesan. I will carefully combine them together and section into two, just like this. Hey, I'm just gently rolling out just a bit of my already made puff pastries. It comes two in a pack, so it's just perfect for this recipe. After that, I will carefully spread out a portion of my spinach fillings, just at the center. Then I will top it off with my seasoned salmon then fold one end and then the other end. I like to trim up a little bit of the excess, then seal the ends with a fork and repeat the same process with the other one. So guys, if you're hearing Chiyomi's voice for the first time and you haven't subscribed, this is the best time to do so. In this channel, I make delicious and easy to follow recipes for you and your loved ones. And for my already subscribers, thank you so much for always showing me love. So guys, right here, I took an additional pastry sheet and sectioned them into two. I then slit some short line, just like this. I would then lay it over my salmon wellington and nicely tuck the excess ends underneath. This time, I would generously coat the outer layering with an egg yolk for a golden finished look. And finally, I would carefully transfer to a greased baking pan and bake at a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes. Now take a second and pause to admire your handiwork. If you were able to pull this salmon wellington together, congratulations, you've just made one of the top restaurant worthy meal at the comfort of your own home. Now let's go ahead and unveil these golden flaky layers of puff pastries. And guys, behold, a perfectly moist baked salmon with its perfectly garlicky sauteed spinach. So guys, if you find this recipe helpful and interesting, Kindly do me a huge favor by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing, and comment as well. I'll see you next time. Ciao.